the cilantro. It's hot. We've watered. I watered everything, rearranged because the tomato plants seem to be outgrowing everything and shadowing a lot of things. So I've moved them around, alternating a pepper plant and a tomato plant in most cases. Uh, kind of ran out of pepper plants. So I got my strawberries here now. And look at them, they're beautiful. Got a tub with some onions and radishes in it. Got tom a little tomatoes started here and some oregano we need to do. It's going to seed. Some lead, uh, some romaine I lettuce. think that's basil, isn't it? Oh, is it basil? Okay. Got so much I can't remember. Some chives sitting here in this pot. Need to trim those. Got garlic in this little little blue thing. I stuck two cloves of garlic in there. It's coming up. So you never know what you can grow. Wind. Well, this is our cilantro tree. It has uh, really shot up. Uh, we're still getting cilantro off of it. But, uh, you know, I don't know how long these things will last. I guess they'll last a long time. And like Cheryl said, she's moved everything around. We got uh, tomatoes here. We got strawberries. This is our uh, husky red cherry tomato. There's um, early girl, I think. Look at that. It's even way up over the top of the tomato cage. I think we have some uh, squash here. Excuse me, that's cucumber. And uh, some more pepper. Another tomato. I'm not sure what this is because the tag's turned around backwards. Uh, in the uh, tote here are two Rutgers tomatoes that uh, we're having a little problem with. I'm not sure how what's going on. And behind it is uh, another tomato that's uh, kind of stunted. I'm just not sure what's going on. Here we have a giant pepper plant. It's just gone bananas. Uh, excuse me, peppers. And uh, over here is uh, basil behind and another pepper in front. There's Greek oregano. Look at that. Isn't that great? Yeah. And then we have more tomatoes. Here's one we just planted. And uh, it's, uh, it's going to come up, look good. We'll have tomatoes all summer long. Another big old tomato plant that's actually over the top of the uh, tomato cage. As you can see, the sun is out bright today. I don't know how this is going to show up on the, uh, on the video, but uh, hopefully it'll look good. Look at the size of these tomatoes, man. You don't realize how big they are till you move them around. Look here, look at these tomatoes I've got down in here. Look at those. Actually, that one is turning red. Can you see that? Look at that. It's already starting to turn red. It's got a buddy right there and another buddy behind him. And here's some cucumber pickles. Hiding way back there in the back is the lemon, uh, excuse me, the lime tree. And uh, he's doing pretty good. Uh, more tomatoes. Yeah, we got a lot of tomatoes. Some uh, romaine lettuce. The lettuce is doing good in the bucket. Uh, it's been watered down. Just planted this new early girl that came from seed. Here's some dill. We, uh, we're doing good with herbs this year. We haven't had uh, herbs uh, be very successful in past years, but they're working pretty well. Uh, down here we have some basil right here and some more Greek oregano. We're going to have to trim this. I've been looking at uh, places online for how to save this stuff, preserve it, and you can actually freeze it. Uh, you can make pesto out of it and freeze the pesto. There's uh, squash. Here's another squash. 
And uh, if you're interested, here's my uh, solar collector. I actually power a couple of batteries down in the basement that, uh, that I've uh, powered the computers uh, for half the night with. And there's my shop out there. You can see that a little bit further away. Okay, here we have some uh, asparagus, uh, some more tomatoes, a pepper or two in here. Uh, we're just waiting to get these out to the garden. Uh, like I say, we, we're doing uh, pretty good with seeds this year. We haven't, uh, haven't been successful with seeds in the past. This flat looks a little weak, but that's because we let it get really dry. So we have some... Uh, we have some uh, peppers right here on this end. Here's some more of those sweet peas. There's the uh, garlic that Cheryl was talking about and the chives. Uh, another, uh, another tomato plant uh, that's, been, uh, that's been transplanted. So our deck garden is, uh, is doing very well. This is one of the ever-bearing strawberries. That means it'll bear all summer long. It has long stems that the strawberries grow on, as opposed to this plant right here where they kind of grow uh, hidden under the leaves to keep the birds from getting to them. But uh, this plant right here will grow all year long, and we've got some strawberries we've got to harvest. Uh, there's uh, three or four right there, uh, another one on the uh, dirt right there. So we've got some strawberries, and we're freezing them one at a time, and hopefully we'll have a whole bag full.